What what's what do you got behind you, Ronan? What's uh, what's getting called out here? That's a clinch. So that uh, all right, this is a really cool project. I don't talk enough about the other thing I degen on. Super degen on. If nobody or has heard of Super Nifty, Super Nifty has been in the space for. I think two and a half years now. Uh, most people would know him from the floating heads, right? So if you look at like that art, like just the head, if, imagine just that head, that's kind of like his original collection. Uh, then he had like a secondary collection uh, that were these imps. And then he had another collection that were these Super Bowls. And essentially what he did was he created an actual IP post all of that. And what he did was for holders, you were able to mint, depending on which one you held, um, you were able to mint like X amount of free ones. Uh, and it's essentially like Pokemon, dude. It's really addicting. So the the website is excellent. Um, uh, let me, I would love to actually send you because you should definitely check out the, the webpage while we're live uh, because they put a lot of love into Can it, do. right? Um, so I just dropped it to you. So what's really cool is that like the way it works is you collected your, your, um, they're called spirits. Um, and the spirits are all these like base level spirits. Uh, now some of them had variants, right? So if you were lucky, you got like, instead of having the base level that I have behind me, you had a variant that variant may have been like green or something. Uh, and there's fewer of them. Um, the second level, right? The evolution, there's an evolution. If you melt, if you burn three of them together. So if I burn three of the clenches behind me, I get the second level. Uh, and then there was like, you know, then there's like little things like there, if, if you uh, combine two of the clenches with uh, this thing called a Sprite, which was one of the, the, the spirits that we hunted that you came back when you hunted, um, then you could actually uh, create like a, a, a special variant of some of them. Right. So, um, he's done a lot of really cool stuff. He did, uh, he did a commission of, you know, my OG, uh, ape 6061 black hat that looks just like that super toy you guys are checking out. Um, and yeah, so he's an OG in the space. The project's awesome. And, and so it's one of those where you jump into the, the discord, essentially you, the way it works is you send your, your, your imps or your, your floating heads on a hunt and they come back and they have the, the spirits. And then that happens once a week. It happens every Friday for, for four Fridays. I think um, we're about to hit our third Friday this week. Uh, and then so like the next 24, 48 hours in Discord is just everybody trading, right? Like if I've got two of this and I need, you know, one more to make my evolution, then I'm going to hit Discord and we're going to work out a trade and we're going to swap and then I'm going to evolve my guy. And what's cool is that on that website, I don't know if you actually, uh, Q, if you wanted to go to the top, if you went to Spirits, the Spirits tab specifically, um, and then you go to uh, my codex or my spirits on the right. I don't know if it's going to show you like a proper codex. Damn it. Um, well, maybe not cool enough. Yeah, maybe you scroll down. But anyways, so yeah, it's it looks just like a Pokemon Pokedex. So it's got like mm. all the blanks of the ones that you don't have. They're just silhouettes. Oh. If you've collected it, uh, that probably blew your ears out. Yes. If you've collected it already, then it shows up. Uh, if you have multiples, it tells you how many you have. If you can uh, evolve it, you get a little evolution button. Uh, and you can see there, like you see the, the, the base spirit evolves twice. Um, each level requires three of that level. Uh, it's really cool. It's deflationary attack, you know, uh, gamified, you know, tokenization, uh, tokenomics. Uh, and, and the art's tons of fun, man. This is dope, man. This is dope. Is this more like when I look at a project like this and I see like the the art that's put into the actual work, is this more art or collectibles to you? This is this is both. Collectibles can be art in my opinion. And like the really really dope collectibles, right? Like you check out the ones behind me, they're considered art. They're called art toys, right? Like so I think like they can be both, but I think like the main thing is is that they're not investment vehicles, right? Like he's not out here trying to shill you some way that you're going to, you know, get in here and you're going to make a bajillion dollars off of these things. What he's showing you is a really fun time. He mm -hmm. released these. Nobody had any idea how many there were uh, on day one after the first like six hours or like 12 hours of melding. He actually put out like a, a full like collage of like every single you know creature that he's got. And there's a shit ton of them. I don't know how many um, maybe, you know, uh, cost effective can can give us the exact amount, but there's a ton of them. Um, and he like the ones that had been discovered, you know, he actually showed them. And then the ones that didn't have silhouettes. So that actually gave like everybody like, oh, snap, there's like a different evolution here. I didn't realize how do we get it right so uh it's one of those things that reminds me a lot q of wax 
like uh-huh. when we used yeah, to yeah, swap yeah. cards, trade, collect, you know, complete sets. And for me, that's like what NFTs, the heart of NFTs are and where we really should be. That's what crypto kitties were, right? Like you, you swapped them and then you bred them and then you saw whether, you know, what kind of cool traits you had. And, you know, it, it breeds this, this engagement over time that builds like uh, a, a real um, attachment to a, a brand, right? To the, to the IP. That's why Pokemon is one of the biggest in the world, right? Like, you know, it, it's massive. Yeah, that's that's fair. I'm going to get to some comments here. Cost Effective is saying it's been so fun working with the community to evolve my spirits. I believe it's 164 spirits. Uh, yeah, that I mean, that was a little bit of a of a rabbit hole there, but I'm glad that we went down. It's cool to see early in the, the episode, like the different projects that are doing some cool stuff. Also, like, what, cool what did you call that? Ronan just nerd out and fanboy on a project. <laughs> I, uh, I, this I is that. this is the shit that like get got yeah. me excited about this space. Yep. It's why we we did fucking weekly podcast, even mm-hmm. though you didn't have a drop happening, but once a month, like mm-hmm. the first. I'm like, bullish six on it was... just based on his passion, just on his passion that was like early clubhouse running yeah that like i'm (laughs) bullish on the project just because of of, of that hey guys it's nifty q if you enjoyed that clip you can catch me every monday wednesday and friday on nft live with other respected leaders in the industry giving you their take on what's happening in nfts and web3 links to the show are in the description hope to see you there